Hello, and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone is having another fantastic day. On today's episode, we'll talk about modern women. They want Chad, and they want him to simp for them. It's not good enough for modern women just to have meet a guy who's a nice guy, wants to treat her well. No, it has to be the most attractive guys, and then they want them to do all the things that they want, like be traditional, even though they're not. Let's get into it. So she's 26 and starts with about me and the all she has written is I like men who always say yes to me. <coughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm quite sure you do. But see, the beauty of this is and the most fascinating thing. If a guy does this to, for a woman, I promise she will leave you real quick. They want guys who challenge them they want guys who don't do this, but they, but that's what they, in their in their mind, you know, their fantasy is this very attractive guy will come in and sweep me off my feet, and he'll always do the things I want. And see, though they don't like those guys, those are beta guys that they will leave, they will get bored of, and they will absolutely leave because there's no challenge. They've already conquered him. That's how women think. So even if this guy did, you know, Mr. Chad did this, she wouldn't like it. And and of course. Those guys at the upper echelon have options. They're not going to do that anyway. Keep dreaming. Let's move on. So she's 34 and says, I'm just dating and not sleeping around. <laughs> yeah, we don't believe you. We, we, all, we all know if the guy's attractive enough, if it's Chad, you absolutely will smash because he will not accept you not doing that. So, okay, just let's just move on past this BS. I'm looking for the right person to spend my time with. I love being spoiled and pampered. Bruh. No, absolutely not. Why, why on earth? You're so a single mom uh, who's a smoker wants to be spoiled and pampered. I'm sure you do. And you also are waiting for a very attractive guy. Again, gentlemen, why do I take such hard stance on these women? Because they have so many options. They have so many options. There's so many guys in their friend zone, so many guys that would give them the relationships they want, but they want the most attractive men and they want them to simp. And those guys are not going to. Let's continue. I love a person who dresses well, a gentleman, takes initiative, very respectful, and is confident in themselves. Sure, you The bitch is crazy. <laughs> you want this fantasy man to come in your life with your kid being a smoker and romance you up. And then let's continue what she says. I am a curvy woman. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's overweight too. So overweight single mom who's a smoker wants a guy to come in and be incredible. Yeah, ma'am, you're average at best. An average man would be fine, but that's not good enough for her. She wants Chad. And how do I know this? Because women have ton tons and tons of options on these dating apps and no one's good enough. And they end up single. Let's continue. And I'm looking for someone who will enjoy them as much as I do. Enjoy. Okay, I'm a curvy woman, and I'm looking for someone who enjoy them as much. Oh, you, your curves. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. It, yeah, yeah, guys. We all love big women, don't we? We all just sit around, hitting the gym, doing what we're supposed to do, and enjoy her curve. I mean, the 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 narcissism here too. The, like, yeah, I'm perfect. You come in. Be a gentleman, spoil me, pamper me. No, don't do this. Please, gentlemen, do not do this. Let's move on. 29 and says about me, the hair is back to brown. So I guess she just dyed her hair. Okay, I don't show her face anyway. Uh, she says, laugh out loud. I'm a single mom. <coughs> okay, right there. Why? Anyway, let's continue. All right. My time is valuable, but if you're kind and worthy, I'll find time for you happily. <sighs> I'm your huckleberry. Ma'am, if you find a guy who wants to be with, and you're, you're overweight as well, you're not obese, but you are overweight, to come into your life and be a stepdad, you'd be very lucky. Whoever that guy is, 
I don't envy him, but you'd be very lucky. Let's continue. I'm always looking for my next adventure and how to plan it. Okay. Ask me what what's next for me and I'll gladly share what's my next adventure and goals. I'm a little crazy, a bit of a hot mess, but with great risks comes even greater rewards. Emotional damage. Yeah, no, no ma'am. Again, she does have options. Even at her size with a, with a kid, there are guys who would probably give her a relationship. It's just, again, not the men she desires. And she's even saying, I'm a hot mess. So, you know, a high value guy would never deal with this. I'm a little crazy and a bit of a hot mess with the, with the kid. They just, they don't get it. Like they just don't get, like the sexual market is a marketplace and you have to, why would a man like that pick you over a woman without kids who's fit and isn't looking, you know, telling me this boss energy stuff. Anyway, good stuff. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so she's 34 and says, MBA doctorate seeks doctorate holder preferred non-bacon eater. I'm a PhD. Okay. So, you know, this is hypergamy at its best. So she has an MBA, but she has to find a doctorate holder. But let's continue with this amazing profile she has here. If you start with a sexual conversation, I will assume you're looking for a hooker and treat you as such. Bruh. Okay. I mean, just swipe left if, or if a guy gets inappropriate and gentlemen, you know, we look, don't do that. Get to know her a little bit. I mean, that the time will come. I'm not saying simp, but I'm also saying be respectful. We don't encourage any of that stuff on the channel for sure. Um, that said, you don't need to put this in your profile, ma'am. You don't, you don't have to put it out there. Just don't engage with it. Okay. Let's continue. Yes. I know I'm attractive. Big fucking deal. God. Can you, again, in the comments or datingdelusions at gmail.com, please send me profiles where men talk about how hot they are and big fucking deal. Like this level, the, the social, social media has made these women so full of themselves and angry. God, just, ugh, it's so gross. Okay. It's upstairs that... It's what upstairs that matters. We can all lose our looks. Don't be shallow or vapid. Bruh. See, men are allowed to be attracted to what they're attracted to. Just as women, you're saying, I want a man more important for you is than him to have a doctorate. That's a very specific ask. So yes, men like attractive women, but being full of yourself also is very unattractive anyway. Just this profile, regardless of how attractive you are, would, would push most, men who have any sort of self-esteem away. Let's continue. Don't be shallow rapid. Hitting the genetic lotto isn't an accomplishment. Wow. You, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. What a nice lady. Man, you just seem so fun to be around. I, just, I can't even get over the, the level of, yeah. So again, why is this in here? Because she wants a guy with a doctorate, probably also a very attractive, and she's attractive. Women don't date, usually men, less attractive than them. So a Chad type guy to be such a perfect gentleman for her. Yeah. And just comes across so full of herself. I mean, also if you have a master's degree, why are you exactly a mortgage, mortgage coordinator? But anyway, okay, let's, um, and why does a mortgage coordinator get a guy with a, a, <laughs> a doctorate? Okay. That's just good stuff. Good stuff, ma'am. You, you keep waiting for Chad, Dr. Chad. He'll be there for you. All right, let's move on. Um, so she's 47 and says, green flags I always look for. All Always opens doors, tells me when to be ready for a date and plans it, consistency with texts, calls and actions, confident and communicates well. <laughs> Women. <laughs> yeah. Surround yourself only with her. I know you might be working things, but you know, constantly text me, give me attention, give me validation. And again, I'm 47 years old. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ma'am, you've had opportunity to find men, good men who are, you know, attracted to you. But those men weren't good enough. Your standards are the problem. You've not found the right guy because of your standards. 100%. You've had options. You don't like the options you're getting. And especially as you get older, your sexual market value, the men you want are, you're competing with women half your age. This kind of me, 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 I, I, I talk, that guy's not going to do this for you. He, you know, you're going to have to surround yourself to him if you want. And even that, even so, those very attractive guys have lots of options. And they don't like it. They don't like it. Because because this tells us, why would you put this if you're just looking for a normal guy? She would. Most women get so many matches on the dating apps. If they're single for more than a few months, gentlemen, their standards are too high because they're getting tons of... Imagine if you got... It, let's take this a step further. If a man got, a, you know, a thousand or two thousand options and thought to him, so, hey, I'd really like a relationship. I'd like to find, maybe I'd like to start a family. If you had 2,000 matches in a couple weeks, which you, we've, I've already shown, that's how many matches these women get. Are you telling me you couldn't find one of those women that you would be like, you know, okay, I'll start something with her? No, because we're not as picky. They're infinitely more picky because of the amount of options they have. Let's continue. Okay, so she's 38 and she says, I know what I want. Don't play games with me and be honest. The chemistry is either there or it's not. <laughs> nope. Oh my God, this attitude, why? Yes, Chad, the, I, either, either Chad shows up or he doesn't. So where is the most attractive guys? Okay, my boys are 18 and 20. So single mom with two kids, awesome. So not interested in dating someone with young kids. That's fair, but you know, guys without kids don't want to deal with your kids because they're going to be, you know, thing is, you got to think this through and they don't. Those kids are going to come over and take, you know, you're going to be trying to hang out and those kids are going to come over. You're going to have to engage them. You're still doing the stepfather thing. And <coughs> yeah, 38. But let's continue. Let's, let's so chemistry. Let's talk about her chemistry. If you're, you are tall, super manly, Bearded, local, and want something real, hit me up. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm sure you'd like all those qualities in a guy with your two kids and with this attitude. Yeah, Chad isn't going to commit to you and he's not going to simp for you and that's what they want. They want him to come to her. No, you have to compete. And then she says, don't expect me to come to your house to meet. That's certainly fair on the first date, but we all know you have if the guy's attractive enough. We all know you have. Just like every person, every woman, if the guy's attractive enough, absolutely. All these, we've t said this many times, women make up rules for men they're not very attracted to and basically ignore all those rules when they're very attracted to the guy. So that's just the truth. So again, this man's not, you have to go find him. You have to go compete for these kind of guys. The guys you're talking about. Tall, super manly, they have tons of options, and you're competing with women in their 20s. What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna sit here and complain in your dating profile. Let's continue. Um, okay, so she is 32 and manager, and she just gets right to it. This is just gold. Uh, she says, take care of me and I'll take care of you. I am not an independent woman and I need help from time to time. So I need your mo your resources and money. Sure. At this point in my life, shut up and take the wheel. Okay, so she wants to be led but also wants money. Uh, okay. How am I to know how am I supposed to know you like me if you don't spoil me? Bruh. Yeah. That's definitely not the way. She will gladly take your resources and gladly go find she, men she's actually attracted to. Okay? But at the end of the day, you know what she really wants? She wants Chad to simp. She wants the highly attractive guy to quote unquote spoil her and, you know, let her, you know, because again, she's 32. She has options. When it's, I do not feel bad for you at all. You just want free resources from a guy that you can quickly say hit the road and I'm calling I'm your huckleberry BS on it 
absolutely. Okay, let's continue. Oh boy, this this is just gold. Uh, I think it might be our final one. This, this, yeah, this one's really good. Okay, so she's 34. She says, about me, first and foremost, who did you vote for? Where were you January 6th? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get into politics on this, but yes, the Capitol was certainly attacked. We can all agree with that, what, you know, the, the motivations of, the, of those gentlemen, but like, what are you talking about, ma'am? There were maybe, what, how many people were, you know, two or 3,000 people? This country has a lot of men. To even try to say, some guy on here is gonna match her, where were you in January? What the hell? Okay, let's continue. Are you mad at the Little Mermaid? Bruh. No, I don't care. And most men don't care. We could care less about the Little Mermaid or what who they've cast as the Little Mermaid. It doesn't matter to anyone who is in their purpose. Who cares? Let's continue. She says, feminist, okay. professional tattoo artist, business owner, advocate for nonprofit, spiritual, open-minded, cat lady, sober. If you're a Trumper, swipe left. So yes, politics sprung throughout her profile. Um, and even with that, she's attractive enough. You'll see her on the next screen. She's attractive enough to find a guy, but here's with this, this boss bitch energy. Nope. Men don't want this. Don't want to be lectured in someone's profile. You just want to try to get to know someone. You can talk about this stuff and you have, not like she doesn't have, she has feminism down here, but throughout her profile and you know, You'll see the rest of this. I don't think she wants a man. Again, she wants another, she wants a clone of herself because you know, all this stuff. We, these are all things men don't care about that you own a business, that all this stuff just are, is irrelevant to men. It just tells me you don't actually care about, you want a simp who will simp for you. Let's continue. So yes, she continues. So she's on the right. I'm just getting the big leg tattoo. She's a tattoo artist, but, but okay. So she's and the chest tattoo. So that should tell you a lot as well. But she goes non non negotiable, racism, homophobia, transphobia, xenophobia, misogyny, sexism, and just being an overall shit person. Oh my god! <laughs> Didn't you boys wake up today reading my you know profiles like you wanted to be lectured? You know. That's just what every guy wants. I, I want to read someone's profile and be lectured about how terrible I am. You know, like all men are just this, this kind of shit. Like, uh, even if a guy agree with all this, it's not you, you, you don't seem fun. And this bringing all this stuff, uh, energy, you know, negative energy, it just comes off so terrible. I, can you, you could you could have talked about this, but let's continue what else she, she wants in a man. This is good stuff. Talking to, I get way too excited about talking to like-minded people about new age spirituality, extraterrestrial life, the universe, science, astrology, cosmology, and other fun and nerdy topics. <coughs> Ma'am, you don't want a man. You, 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 you want some caricature of some beta guy. The thing is, you could have that guy now. And so my argument is, you actually want like an alpha guy, a Chad, a very attractive guy who's, but also this made up fantasy far leftist. I mean, I, who, good Lord. And all these things, I mean, astrology, spirit, new age spirituality. How many men do you think are in that? How many men are into new age spirituality? <laughs> so, I mean, this, you know what's gonna happen to this one. I mean, That's why you will die a girl, die alone. Yeah, and then she continues with her massive list of requirements. So I'm hoping you are a feminist, empathetic, strive to be a good human, lift up those around you, have goals, have made steps toward your, and you can't see this, sorry, own healing therapy, leftist liberal ally. Yeah, good luck. <coughs> I'm not saying there aren't leftist guys. I'm not saying there aren't liberal guys, but all this other stuff, you know, those guys, again, what you really saying, he has to be all these and very attractive. Okay. You're 32. You could have, there's been other guys come through you. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's more delusion. 
<laughs> it's more fantasy man and the men aren't like this this is not men don't care about astrology other yeah this is absolutely ridiculous so um i will leave it there for today thank you again for watching another episode of dating delusions i really appreciate all the support uh please do like and subscribe uh if you did enjoy the content and uh i'll see you in the ne next episode have a great day peace